This could be interesting. There's no shortage of firearms in this neighborhood. I suspect the solution will turn on geometry, timing, and human nature. And there may be a penny dreadful in it. Look into it, won't you? I didn't ask about this. Well, now, I didn't ask about this. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. He was a good man, very honorable. I'm proud to have served under Colonel Prescott in 11th foot Gold Coast, Africa. I was on my way here. Heard two shots I did, right at the stroke of noon. Prescott put that up in memory of the time he led a sortie across the Pearl River to outflank Ashanti warriors. Things turned out badly that day. Horrific. We lost several of our comrades. Prescott wanted us to remember them. Bullet hole in the clock. <laughs> That's a new one. It could have already been there when I arrived at noon. Or maybe it was the second shot I heard. From what I can gather, Prescott was shot almost exactly at 12 o'clock noon. When Colonel Prescott retired from the army, he used his connections and started this munitions factory. He wanted the men that served with him to have work when they left the army. The young lads across the street were fooling with a pistol they'd found. A bullet must have gone astray through the wooden fence, hit Mr. Prescott smack in the chest. Bloody unlucky for all concerned. Apparently, they put the clock there while doing some repairs. It still runs, I notice.
Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Saw him each morning as I drove by. Seemed like a good sort. We lost an entire barrel of beer, damn it. I heard two loud bangs, but thought nothing of it. Later, I found a bullet hole in a barrel. Imagine that, a bullet hole. My lad Samuel might know more. He's around back, tossing trash in the river. The poor lad. Fell on my doorstep a few years ago. He's in a bad way, has some sort of malady. Rides in the back while I make deliveries. Hard worker, very determined. Just drop off beer. Don't pay much attention to people along the way. There was an hole in a barrel. I've got no explanation for that. That's for some sickness I picked up a while ago. Can't remember the name of it. Him and me like to insult each other. I was a lieutenant under his command in Africa. I love the army. No one questions you when you wear a uniform. Anyways, every morning when he arrived, we'd call out and joke with each other. Prescott led a flanking sortie that went wrong. Lots of casualties. Some men called the Colonel a coward, but it were really just bad luck. Anyway, he resigned. To make amends, he offered work at his factory whenever one of us left the army.
Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Admit it. I sell stolen rifles and pistols. All very hush hush. Black market. I made that shot. Early this morning, Prescott challenged me to plug the 12 from my shop. I missed just slow. No one witnessed it. It was too early in the morning. I brought that gun back from Africa. I was a sniper fighting the Ashanti. I used that gun this morning for Prescott's challenge. It's the only Whitworth we have. I'd never sell it.
me. I couldn't have shot him from the attic at that angle. I only shot a clock. His goddamn cowardice in Africa got me best friends killed. He should have faced a firing squad. Very good sleuthing on your part. It's a miracle anyone survived what with all those bullets whizzing about. Up to the cliff with you! My write-up of that last crime was so ingenious that Perlock Publishing tossed me quite a tidy sum. I believe this next one will do even better. It's baffling. The room was locked. How did the murderer get in and out?
I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I should return and find out about this. I'm just the housekeeper, but Mr. Cashin was a dear friend. Each morning I bring him his coffee. Today his door was locked shut. My husband is the caretaker. We live downstairs. We have the keys to all the apartments, so after knocking, I became concerned and let myself in and found him like this. The lights weren't working. My husband didn't want to waste any candles, so we retired early. Mr. Cashin is... was a respected music critic. A very accomplished man. about this. I should go back and ask about this. Mr. Cashin is dead? I just saw him yesterday. He looked in the peak of health. If you ask me, he paid a bit too much attention to the caretaker's wife. Scandalous, really. They must have seen each other nearly every day. Last night, I was knitting in that chair. Then I felt quite sickly and opened the window to clear my head. I certainly didn't hear anything. When the lights quit working yesterday, that sweet Mr. Golden handed out candles to everyone. He's such a nice man. Gone just like that, eh? He lived right next door and often came home from his concerts a bit drunk and singing at the top of his lungs. Drove my wife near crazy. I was down in the cellar fiddling with my experiments. Cashin had an eye for the ladies, no question. I was a bit jealous of him, frankly. <laughs> That belongs to Mr. Golden. He's an awfully nice chap. We let him use our apartment during the day when my wife and I are out tending our shop. He likes to rehearse here where the light's better. I'm an amateur chemist. Henman let me set up a few experiments in the cellar.
I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I worked very late. So did he. I only met him once or twice in the two years I've been living here. I was out given a benefit recital for unemployed musicians. Several dozen people can attest to my whereabouts. I use them to create an ambience when I hold private recitals. I should return and find out about this. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. should reinterrogate a suspect. Mr. Cashin's dead. Difficult to believe. He led a quiet life. Out at concerts most nights, shut up in his room writing the rest of the time. He must have been a lonely man. My wife felt sorry for him and helped him as often as she could. I'm in charge of the running and upkeep of the whole building, so I can get dirty now and then. I was just doing some work in the basement. I forgot to put it away after I fixed Mr. Golden's music stand yesterday morning. I left it there, and he came to give it back. The gas quit working yesterday. I don't know enough to fix such things safely myself. A man from the company is going to come by tomorrow. Yes, be careful with that. It can be dangerous. It reacts badly with heat.
He destroyed an entire orchestra. All those musicians put out of work. A rancorous old man who had no talent or creativity of his own. I suspect there was more to that mystery than meets the eye. I'm going to look into it. Up to the clink with you! Thank you. 